Hey guys, I'm Tesha. I'm Rose. And I'm Amanda. We are from the South African Shark Conservancy as part of the Women in Shark Science program. Today we are going to talk to you about the life history stages of sharks. Sharks have three different reproductive strategies. They can lay eggs, they can produce eggs which develop inside the mother's body, or they can give birth to live young. Males' reproductive organs are known as claspers. Females are called cloacas. The eggs that sharks lay are typically referred to as mermaid purses. They are extremely tough and help protect the developing embryo inside. Here we have an example of a pyjama shark egg case. As you can see, this egg case has curly strings on each corner. These are called tendrils and are used to anchor the case to kelp, rock or seagrass in the nursery area. Here you can see a shark hatching from its egg case. This is a newborn dark shy shark. You may notice a pink string attached to it. This is the yolk and will be absorbed by the shark over the next few days. This is a two month old pyjama shark that we have here in the lab. They are about 14 to 15 centimetres when they're born and grow to about 1.2 metres. They got their name because of the black stripes that run along their body resembling pyjama pants. They are an endemic species to South Africa and are commonly encountered in shallow intertidal areas but can occur at depths of up to 100 metres. Here we have an adult pajama shark. Males reach maturity at lengths 58 to 78 centimeters and females become mature at 65 to 72 centimeters. <laughs>